Hey, everybody. Trying to fix that a little bit. There we go. <laughs> it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures, and I have a haul for you. Um, I'm not going to show you everything, but by the time I'm done, it's going to feel like it because <laughs> I got a lot. Um, this is over the last, um, gosh, couple weeks, you know, my sister was in and we went to garage sales and just thrift stores and things. And I haven't really shown any of the things I've been picking up along the way. And so uh, it's been kind of piling up. So I'm just taking some of it to show you and then that's it. All right. So I'll show you the little doodads first. Uh, I picked up this William Sonoma ice cream mold. This was $2. Oh, look, I got my nails done. Sorry. You know how I digress. Okay. So Anyway, <laughs> Tanya, I'm not Tanya, yeah, Tanya, Teresa, look, I did it. <laughs> I need a professional help if you watch any of my, anyway, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> um, this is the William Sonoma ice cream mold, uh, little piggies and cows and stuff, and that I picked up for $2, and that should sell for maybe 15 or so. And then I picked up a hat. I don't do a lot of hats, but I've been watching um, some of the guys, you know, like Valet Picker, and I thought, oh, I'm going to try it. So I looked this one up, and I think this is a youth. I don't know. If not, it's a small uh, New York Jets hat, Reebok. And I think that, that'll go for about 15 as well. And this was two. Thrift store I go to. Um, hats are $2. Men's shirts are $2. It's, all, it's nice. It's all flat. Uh, and then this. I may have to wear this throughout the video. This was 50 cents. I don't know. You know how I like to dress up. Okay, look. Look how creepy. Okay, I'm going for it. This has to come off. This was 25 cents. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so horrible. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Not so much the mask, but the ears. I'll, I'll keep those ones. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to sell these or not. Yeah. Because it's fun. <laughs> And then I picked up this at a garage sale with my sister, and this was a quarter. And at first I thought it was a candle snuffer, and then I, later I read on there, it's Jägermeister. It's like a shot thing for Jägermeister. Um, I'm going to post a picture because my uh, book club, there's a German restaurant uh, not too far from here, and the owner uh, wrote a book. And so we read his book for, it's called The Last Days of Monaco. We read his book for our book club, and then we went to the, the German restaurant, the beer garden, to have our meeting and so he sat and talked with us and we were drinking our beers my favorite is the Francis Connor and then uh he ordered us rounds of Jägermeister so that was fun <laughs> all right and then today also I'll pick this up uh, I, I was just walking through and I thought, okay, grab that. That looks pretty cool. It was a dollar and, um, it's a little metronome, like a little portable metronome. I'm not going to, my husband got it out anyway. And it's, it's a wind up one and it's from West Germany. And I looked it up and, and they're going for like $50, you know, this one. And, um, but then now my husband's like, no, we should keep it. I've always wanted a metronome. Okay. <laughs> And then at another garage sale, I picked up two swatch watches. This is indeed a swatch watch. It's a big funky one. And then this is a swatch watch. And um, I, they were each a quarter, so hey, you can't go wrong. But I honestly, I don't know um, what they're going for online, so I need to look those up. But it's a swatch. And then this, this guy was having an estate sale, and it was actually a good estate sale. I had like reasonable prices. I don't know. And um, this is, he was some kind of engineer. And this is a lighter. You put the fuel in down the bottom. And then it still sparks. It just doesn't have any fuel in it. So i got to look that up as well. Um, I also picked up this little fella. He was 50 cents. And um, he doesn't work. But we tried. But I thought, you know, somebody might still want him as a sentimental you know sentimental all right next up lucky troll this is lucky lottery troll now i've never sold a troll doll before and i only had one ever but i thought oh why not he was a dollar which that's kind of a lot um <laughs> booty booty all right <laughs> all righty next up i have got this 
What is it? What could it be? I don't know. Maybe I'll show you. <laughs> it's a pen set. So it's got all these pens and mechanical pencils and then all the refills for the fountain pens and for the ballpoint pens and the mechanical pencils. There's one pen missing. But the whole set was $5. And this also I need to look up. It has all the instructions and stuff. I like fancy pens, so but I'm still selling it. <clears throat> all right. I'm trying to blow through the rest of this real quick. This bad boy, my husband needs to test it out. Um, that was $2. And then I picked up this Trivial Pursuit. I don't do a lot of games, but this one I did. It was Disney Trivial Pursuit for 3 bucks. All the pieces are in there. Um, gosh, when I looked it up, I think it was going for 20 maybe more. So that's another one. Next up, I picked up these Johnny Walker um, coasters. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit. They're kind of grungy. But I thought they were pretty cool. 50 cents, Johnny Walker. People like their Johnny Walker. Um, I'm not going to share that. This, <laughs> I'm probably going to put this in my antique booth. This was 50 cents. It's a little bear purse head. And it's in just perfect condition. I don't know. Maybe I'll scan it and see if they sell on, on Amazon. Because, you know, it's really just brand new. <clears throat> and this I picked up just for lapsies. <laughs> Working with jerks. It's a tape. How to deal with intolerant bosses, abrasive peers, listless subordinates, and all the people you wish would disappear but won't. <sighs> yeah, so or maybe I'll listen to that. Look at this dude. He is giving you all the great advice. That was fun. <laughs> and then, okay, so at that estate sale I was telling you about the really good one, uh, I picked this up and was like, ooh, that looks cool. I don't know what it is, but it looks awesome. Something electronic with lots of plugs and things. So I got it right at home, showed my husband, look, look, what is it? And um, he told me, and now I forgot, something, ohms, amps, something. But they sell for pretty good. I got it for $4. And then, so then he went back with me after that, and we found some more stuff. We found another one. There it is. And it has all its cords and things. Ohms, amps. I guess it tests the electronical pluggy stuff. <laughs> but I'll find out what it is <laughs> before I post it. <laughs> All right, and the next step, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the clothes real quick. Now this one is a concert shirt. It's Ted Nugent. <laughs> but the only one that I saw the sold one on uh, eBay was sold for, for $39.99. Heck yeah. I'll buy a Ted Nugent shirt for that. Um, so this was again at the thrift store. Everything's two dollars. I mean, the men's shirts are two dollars. And then this one, so, see, I didn't look up a bunch, but um, they were cool. This is a Nautica shirt. Sorry, my screen's going dark. And it's got a nice boat and a sailfish. And on the back, it's got a big. It just needs to be ironed, but it's in really nice shape. So I did that. I, I don't sell a lot of clothes, but. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is another cool one. This is a polo Ralph Lauren black and white sailboat. Extra large. That should do pretty good. I think. And now this one I need to, I have a big question mark on because some shirts, you know, are counterfeited. I don't, Ted Nugent, I don't think so. But this, you know, it's a Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, the wall. And so I've got to do my research and find out because this is just like a Hanes. You know, is this, what is this going for? What can I list it as? I don't know. We'll find out. And then this one I think my husband might keep too. See, this is the problem. I bring things home and then he goes through all my, my haul and he's like, oh, this is cool. I like this. Let's keep this. I'm like, that's $50. Anyway, so this is a nice polo shirt. It's really heavy material. Polo, USA, thick, long sleeves, and then on the back, Number three, United States. Um, and it's a size medium. I took a picture of my husband wearing it so you can see. Decide for yourself. Should I let him keep it? He doesn't normally wear polos either, though. He likes the snappy shirts. The snappy plaid ones. And here is another one. I don't know the brand, but it was cool. Las Vegas. And then at the bottom, it's all flames and cards and dice. That's pretty cool. All right. Again, $2. 
on that. And then this was a lady's jacket. This one was $5. But I looked up the brand because I was not familiar with it and it's, it's done pretty well. Where's the top of this funky thing? <laughs> the brand is called Barrick. You can see that, Barrick. And it is funky. I do okay with ladies jackets like Coldwater Creek, Chico's. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I've, I've gotten some pants and things, but I, I don't really do well with the pants. I'm saving this shirt for the last. And the only person that knows about it is Valley Picker because I told her. <laughs> and then this is my first Tommy Bahama find. So this is a Tommy Bahama shirt. I've never sold one before. And this one looks okay. It's not as fancy as some of the others I've seen. <clears throat> okay, so another shirt that I got is a Warner Brothers Studio shirt and it's a Taz golf shirt. So it's got ta Taz playing golf on it. And that's an extra large. That is also from the thrift store where all the shirts are $2. All right, and then here's another shirt I got. I don't normally buy this brand, it's Puritan brand, but I thought it was cool. It's like a black and white Hawaiian shirt. I like black and white. <laughs> I wear a lot of black and white, so I thought that was pretty cool. I think I'm gonna save this shirt for the very, very end of the haul. All right, and then, so now I've got some little, little doodads. This was also at the estate sale that had all the electronic ohms, amps types of things. Look at this nice, cool old case. What's inside? Let's find out. What is it? Wires. And then this, Rosemont Field Calibration, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I looked it up, and again, I can't remember exactly what it's for or what it was going for, but it was going for good money. See, it even has its little manual in there. So that is that. That's pretty cool. And I think that was $3. Um, so like I said, it was a, a very unusual estate sale because you know estate sales, and they're usually um, over the top expensive. So then at, also at this estate sale, and this was up in the like in the cupboard in the garage, um, there was a bunch of um, vintage um, electronics and chemistry books and just, ra I mean, random stuff. And, uh, and then these, there's three of them, Ballantine Scotch Whiskey, and then there are golf tees inside. It's like a little promotional golf thing. And so there are three of those, and they, I think they gave it to me for all three of them for a quarter. Hey, that's a deal. And then this, I couldn't find very much about it, but they're for teacups, you know, to mark your tea, or no, 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 to hold your tea bag so you don't lose your, your tea bag. Like you put the string for the tea bag and clip it onto your um, teacup, I don't know, or handle, I don't know. <laughs> we'll look at that and we'll look up that too. And then these, uh, all this next little stuff also came from the estate sale. Oh man, okay, here we go. So this is a cool old stopwatch. My screen's going dark. Cool old stopwatch that, you know, I'll we'll have to figure out how it works. We played with it, it works. You know, but anyway, that's cool. Quarter, the jewelry was all a quarter a piece there, which is fine with me. Um, so I got some tie tacks and I got some tie bars. And uh, so like, there's a little tie bar. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them. This one was cool. It was really long. That's a long one. Uh, and then cufflinks. And then some cufflinks. And these ones have the initial T on them. I think those are Swank brand, too. I, I've had a few people ask me. Oh, no, they're not. There's something else. Hickok. Um, to do a video about, you know, tie tacks, tie bars, cuff links, uh, because I really like them and I do really well with them. And so I think I will. Maybe next week I'll put out a men's accessories. Um, there's not much to them, so it's pretty easy. Easy peasy. Um, this is another cool thing that I found. It's uh, for baseball, but it's a metal one. I, I've seen plastic ones, you know, and you you turn the little dials to say if they're out or how many balls the balls strikes, that kind of thing. And this was a dollar. That was cool. 
and I don't know. The rest of it's pretty standard. Now this one I'm going to share because I was so torn. I didn't know what to do. I bought a purse at a, a garage sale. I didn't share it. But it was at um, one of the days that, I mean, I probably went to 20 garage sales that day because there was a community garage sale. And so there were garage sales all over the neighborhood. And um, I don't know. I'd been to so many, probably not exactly 20, but a lot. I mean, in the teens for sure. And I got home and I was, you know, checking the purse. And I noticed, oh, man, they left, you know, Rolades and you know tissues in the bottom of the purse or whatever. I was like, okay, clean this out. But then this was in the side pocket, and it's it's James Avery. So if you've seen one of my other videos, James Avery's pretty big here. It's sterling silver. So the chain is James Avery. The charm is James Avery. It needs to be polished up. It says the heart remembers. Um, and I was really torn because I got the purse for a dollar, and this is you know I'm looking at at least sixty dollars right here. And I felt really bad. I was like, oh, if I could remember where I bought the purse, I would go take this back because I'm sure they didn't know it was in there. You know, and some people were like, oh, no, you bought it at yours. Um, but I don't know. I felt kind of bad. But at this point, I don't know where I bought it. So I, my only other choice is to sell it. And the same thing happened at my garage sale this weekend. I had a garage sale, and a little girl left her doll at the garage sale. And it was a um, Corel doll, and so they sell really, and they're really, they're really nice dolls. And uh, so I put it to the side, kept waiting for the lady to come back. You know, I'm sure this little girl's going to notice her doll is missing, and she never did. So I really didn't know what to do about it. You know, I can sell it, but I felt bad. <laughs> People try to buy it after she, after the lady left at the garage sale, but I wouldn't sell it. Um, I don't know. Anyway, two more things. You've hung in there, but it's worth it. So this little girl. She's my soulmate. <laughs> she looks like me. Hey, you guys. How you doing? I'm... Wait. What call it? I'm Coco. Coco. <laughs> ah. Coco in the house. <laughs> okay. So, I, I don't know. I might sell Coco. Um, she probably has a different name, but we're going to call her Coco. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> all right. So here's the shirt. Bum, ba, da, da, the shirt of the hour. You were waiting this whole time to see it, and it's the hot dog shirt. Do, 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 do. Hot dog shirt. This is a shirt from the company Get a Life Extra Large, and it is in just perfect hot doggy condition. Right? Isn't that awesome? I think I think it's selling maybe 20, for twenty dollars or something like that, but uh, we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> but it was so cool, hot dog shirt. So you waited the whole time for the hot dog shirt. Thanks, thanks. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. So this has been a really long haul video, and I appreciate you watching. Also. Um, this coming Sunday, which is Mother's Day, I'm going to be on the R Show on the Walking Pickers channel on YouTube. Um, so tune in, 8 o'clock Central. Um, whatever that is your time, that is your time. And so I hope that you guys will come in and cheer for me and root me on and ask me questions. And I don't know. I haven't really talked about what we're going to talk about. So I'm guessing it's just going to be a Q&A type of deal. But I'm going to make sure I have all of my fun um, costumey dress up stuff handy just in case you know you never know when you're gonna need viking helmet or whatever pirate stuff <laughs> but it'll be there it'll be ready you know anime i'm gonna make sure i have my anime glasses and uh maybe coco will make an appearance coco coco house <laughs> okay you guys thanks so much for watching and um make sure to like and subscribe leave me a comment and uh, if you have any questions for me, um, shoot, shoot them away at me and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll answer them. Maybe, probably, if I know the answer. That's how I do it. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. All right, see you later. Go out and enjoy yourselves.